up probably around like 7.50, I want to say, because I heard yelling from like right outside my door. And I don't even know where, but I immediately like jumped up, and I have a baseball bat because when I was living at my uncle's by myself, I just wanted something to like mm-hmm. feel safer, and I'm not old enough to get like pepper spray or anything, so I was mm-hmm. like, okay, I'll get a baseball bat. So I have that. My uncle was like right here, and then my stepdad right here, and then me and my mom were kind of right here. And I didn't do anything with the baseball bat. I kind of just held it there and. He was getting really close to my mom, so I kind of stuck it out, like, between them. And they were both just yelling, and he was like, if you hit me with that baseball bat, you're going to go to jail. And I just kind of stood there with the baseball bat, and I just, I didn't really say anything. You said they were yelling. Who was yelling? My, it was mostly my stepdad. Okay. Well, he was really the only one, like, yelling. Mm -hmm. My mom was kind of, like responding Mm -hmm. but I honestly couldn't tell you what they were saying it was kind of just like all jumbled up in my head and so I just kind of stuck the baseball bat out there and then he like he just grabbed it and tried to take it so I held on to the end and then eventually I fell and he kind of took it into his hands like he was going to do something with it and that's when so when you fell he ended up with the bat yeah okay and so I fell to the ground and then my uncle kind of like I saw him take a step back so I'm my uncle I think grabbed him and kind of took him back so he couldn't like do anything. You saw your stepdad like take a step take back. Take a step back because okay. he was really close okay. to begin with and then I kind of and so my mom said to go with JJ and so I ran out the door and then I kind of just stood there with my little brother. Just he was in the front seat of the car and so I just kind of opened the door and just stood there and like he was trying to get out, and I was like, no, we have to stay, we have to stay in, and I told him, like, do you want to go in the Jeep, and then he was like, no, and then I realized that my car was blocked in, so I couldn't anyways, I was like, okay, like, just stay here, and then eventually my mom came out, mm-hmm. and then we left from there. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just kind of asked her, like, because I heard a noise. Mm-hmm which I know what it was now, but it sounded like, because I knew that the bass when I was in there, it sounded like someone, like, took it and hit it really hard against the floor. Okay. Um, and so I was kind of like, like, Al's okay, right, because that's my uncle. Mm-hmm. So I just wanted to make sure that, like, my stepdad didn't do anything to my uncle. And she was like, no, like, Al's fine. Like, we're just going to take Jay to school. And I was like, okay. So I just got in the car, and then... We went to Burger King because my little brother wanted breakfast, Mm -hmm. which was chicken fries Mm -hmm. for no reason. Okay. Was there something in particular that you were concerned about that you would have taken the bat with you? Only if he had been violent towards, like, me or my mom. Are you, I'm assuming you're talking about your stepdad? Yeah. Okay. All right. About... Um, your stepdad, when you put the bat out, your stepdad mm-hmm. was coming towards your mom. Mm-hmm. Can you describe to me a little bit better kind of what was going on there? Like, is uh, there a reason you put the bat up? Yeah, he was walking mm-hmm. towards my mom, and I just didn't want him to do anything, so I kind of just stuck out the bat. Like, my mom was right beside me, and he was right there, so it wasn't, like, between them. Okay. It was kind of just, like, I just stuck it out to be, like, keep your distance kind mm-hmm. of when you say you didn't want him to do anything what did you think he was going to do hit her okay yeah it's for the most part been pretty like mundane but there have been a few like violent times with him when i was really scared that he was going to hit me or hit my mom like okay. just because everything was kind of crazy me and him have always kind of not gotten along mm-hmm. like just since i was little and so there have been a few times that we've gotten in fights and stuff like that. And so, I don't, yeah. So okay. I'm just kind of always scared of that. When you, when you fell towards your side, did you see what he did with the bat? No, I wasn't really looking okay. in that direction because from where I fell, 
the door was kind of more in my line of vision because I fell looking this way and the door was like right there, so I didn't look back. So he was kind of, he was at a different line of sight than what you were looking at. Yeah. Okay. And then at some point you saw him kind of take a step back, and from what you're saying, and tell me if I'm wrong or not, you you didn't necessarily see your uncle pulling back, but yeah. it seems like that may be. What it seems like he wouldn't have taken a step back. Okay. On his own. So. And then um, once you went outside with your brother, you never came back inside. Oh, I went to go get my mom's purse okay. from inside so that we could have, like, her wallet and everything. But this was all happening, like I said, like, in the okay. bigger room right here. And so this is, I went through the garage door. Mm -hmm. And so the garage door is right here. And then there's, like, a little hallway. And then this is kind of where everything is. And then this is my mom's room. Okay. So when I went in, I kind of, like, just tuned everything out, ran to my mom's closet, ran back. So I didn't see anything, I didn't mm -hmm. hear anything. When did you go back in and get her purse? Um, after my mom came out. Okay. So after you heard that loud noise? Yeah. Okay. And when, so when you heard the loud noise, was your mom outside or inside? Um, I'm trying to think. I think she, like, I think she was inside when it happened and the door opened like immediately after. Okay. So very quickly after the door opened. Yeah. Okay. So it wasn't like a long period of time because I remember not like thinking about it for that long and if my mom hadn't come out immediately I would have, you know, been thinking about it for a lot longer than okay. I had. That kind of emotionally and how they were behaving when all this was happening? When all this was happening or like before? When all this was happening. So when, like when you came out of your room and he took the bat from you and... Yeah, so my stepdad was like, he didn't, he was like, I don't even know how to explain it. He honestly just looked like kind of a crazy person. Okay. Like screaming and like his face was beat red. He just looked like really mad. I remember when he took the bat from me, I saw his face for like a split second, and I honestly, like, it didn't even look like him. He just looked like pure, like, rage. Uh -huh. Like, he was just seeing red. So, I haven't really seen him, like, all the way like that before. That's, like, the craziest I've ever seen him. And then my uncle was kind of calm. Like, not super calm, obviously. It was, like, a stressful situation, mm -hmm. but he's, like, I don't know, he was kind of just standing there in the doorway, kind of just being protective of my mom, but mm -hmm. not, he wasn't yelling or really saying anything. Okay. And my mom was just kind of, he was yelling and my mom was kind of just like talking. Okay. So, yeah. Do you, but you don't remember, if you do, like what your mom was saying at all or what, what he was mad about? No, not really, I'm sorry. Okay. It's okay. 